Hello everyone and welcome to Ocean Cadence. Today we will be undertaking the topic of main engine two stroke valve timing diagram. So let us begin further. Before proceeding to the diagram itself, we have to clear a few points. And the first point that is liable to arise is what actually is a valve timing diagram. So if we bifurcate the name itself, we have three elements valve, timing and diagram. That means a diagrammatic representation of the condition of various ports and valves that are connected to the operational condition of a two stroke engine during the stroke of the piston. That is the entire stroke of the piston. When these elements are represented diagrammatically, the arrangement is called as a valve timing diagram. So, as we know that in a two stroke engine, the entire combustion cycle that is from the intake of the scavenge air until the final expulsion of the combustion byproducts, everything happens within the one revolution of a crankshaft. That is why it is called as a two stroke engine. So, in the marine two stroke diesel engines, as we know that the opening of the exhaust valve and the closing of the exhaust valve is at a fixed timing because the present day that is the modern generation engines that is the camshaft driven engines I am talking about in this condition. So the camshaft driven engines for the uh, exhaust valve they have a symmetric cam profile that is why the exhaust valve will open and close at, at a fixed time. Similarly because the design of the engine is fixed there cannot be any variation in the design that is the intake ports are also fixed. So because the design is fixed and the stroke is fixed the intake ports will always get covered and open up at a fixed point of time. Now what varies is the fuel injection that is either it has to be done by the uh, conventional method or it has to be done by the VIT mechanism. So the only thing that would vary is the fuel injection timing. Also we have to make sure that before proceeding with the diagram we know a very important terminology which is called as the overlap period. The overlap period is the time when the exhaust valve as well as the intake ports are open simultaneously. This overlap period is actually responsible for, prop for proper scavenging and for, for proper expulsion of the exhaust gases from the system and fresh filling of the scavenger into the system for further compression and for the next combustion cycle. So now let us proceed further and see the actual diagram. As you can see there are different terminologies and the most important ones would be the TDC and the BDC that is the top dead center when the piston is at the topmost position and it cannot travel any further up as well as the bottom dead center when the piston is at the bottommost position and cannot travel any lower. So in this uh, wall timing diagram as you can see I have denoted a terminology EVO that is exhaust wall opens and similarly a terminology exhaust wall closes EVC. When the follower of the when the follower of the exhaust wall actuating unit is on the particular point where the actuation of the uh, exhaust wall happens and the exhaust wall opens this point is plotted on the diagram and similarly upon closing EVC is plotted on the diagram. Now what I was talking about earlier is as you can see this angle that is the 60 degree angle over here and the 60 degree angle over here. So exhaust wall is bound to open and close at the same angular interval. That is why during the reversing also the timing of the exhaust wall does not need to be changed because the cam profile is symmetric and hence it resolves one of the major issues that used to prevail in the older engines. In the similar manner we can see 
intake ports open 45 degrees before BDC and intake ports get covered that is they close 45 degrees after BDC. All these angles that are denoted are in respect to the BDC over here. So we have to rotate it as 60 degree before BDC, 60 degree after BDC, 45 degrees before BDC and 45 degrees after BDC. This is the overlap period that I was talking about over here because as you can see the exhaust wall has opened here and after 15 degrees of further travel intake port has opened. Now both of them remain open that is this remains open and this remains uncovered scavenge air flows in and pushes the exhaust gases out travels further the, as the piston travels further and the piston upon its upward stroke further covers the scavenge ports that is the intake ports they close and hence ending the overlap period and further traveling after that the exhaust wall closes. The correct timing of this that is the overlap period has to be correctly timed in order to make sure efficient scavenging takes place as explained earlier. After this the fuel injection starts 15 degrees before TDC. It is also important to note that the fuel injection timing has to be before TDC that is the piston has not yet reached its top dead center so that there is enough time for the fuel to protrude into the cylinder that is penetrate into the combustion space then get burnt up and then produce expansion stroke of the engine by the combustion and the expansion of the gases. After that as you can see 15 degrees and then another 20 degrees over here after TDC that is after a total interval of almost 35 to 40 degrees the fuel injection ends. So from between this period the fuel it gets into the unit and the combustion is initiated and after this there will be no fuel injection into the unit. So that is what I was talking about earlier that depending upon the VIT, super VIT or the conventional mechanism it is these points that are varied. That will be a separate lecture altogether as we cover VIT. Now another two important terminologies that you have to remember is anything that is denoted after the fuel injection has end, ended that is the expansion stroke until the exhaust wall opens and similarly anything that is denoted before the fuel injection starts from the time the exhaust valve has closed is denoted as the compression stroke because once the scavenging has ended that is the overlap period is finished exhaust valve has closed everything has happened so after that the air which is trapped into the cylinder into the unit it has nowhere to go as the piston travels up the air would get compressed and that is why we call it as the compression stroke until finally it reaches this it reaches the perfect value or as per the compression ratio where the injection can take place in the similar manner once the fuel injection has ended the flue gases expand the exhaust uh, and flue gases expand until the point before the exhaust valve opens and that is what we call as the power stroke so this is the expansion part all this can be denoted in a single circle that is between TDC to BDC and here after up 360 degrees of total angle is because this is a two stroke engine. I will explain the difference of this from a four stroke engine wall timing diagram in a different video.
I hope that this clears all your doubts regarding the two stroke engine wall timing diagram and please make sure that you like share and subscribe our content and our page so that we can keep creating such engaging content and get the motivation. Thank you.